Hi YouTube. I'm back again with this um this is the last lesson on the the subconscious mind. And I'm just gonna read a few paragraphs um where I left off last week. Most of us have been taught it's better to give than to receive. Yet not everyone knows how to receive, just as not everyone knows how to give. Endeavor to give service to others freely without expectation of compensation from them. Base your expectation in the workings of the universal law, and you will learn to receive from the abundance of the universe. Use your talents to aid others rather than falling into misuse of others or allowing yourself to be misused. I'm, I'm reminded of a, of a woman, a friend of mine, and even a, a lady was like this, an older lady was like this. She, the friend, this is what she would do. I'm sure some of y'all had friends like this. I, if I went to her house, and she might have something that was cute, and sometimes you tell people, oh, that's so pretty, but it's not that you want them to give it to you. You know, but I would, I, every time I went to her house, she would pack up a little ditty bag, and I'm going to give you this since you like it. I'm going to give you this. And I, I was, I finally learned to say, no, I don't want it like that. Because what she would do is come to your house and start naming, oh, I like this. I like that. And you say, oh, okay, so I'm supposed to give it to her because she gave me what I said I liked at her house. But I finally got hip to that, and I, I quit taking anything from her because a lot of people play that tit for tat. I gave you this. You remember when I gave you that? So you ought to give me that. But, you know, you younger people have to pay attention because I don't interact with people like that anymore. And uh, most of my friends, you know, they're as old as I am. <laughs> they don't have anything I want and, and I don't have anything they want. So, but that's the, that's the game that uh, used to be played like that. And even this older woman would play those games. We were young teenagers and young women. She would play games like that. And she kept a deep freezer full of food. I mean, ooh, just food, food, food. And if you came, if uh, me and my sister came over there and we come in a little short up on groceries, oh, just look in the freezer and get what you need. Get it, get it. If you took that food, you better believe you are in her debt for life. So you just don't go over. Stop going over that woman's house for anything. And just it's just people are, are like that, that nature, to misuse you. It says, use your talents to aid others rather than falling into misuse of others. Are allowing yourself to be misused. Keep your attention upon your ideas. I D E A L S. Ideals. By imagining imagining your ideals already happening in your mind, doubt and fear will have no place to take root. Believing and knowing that what you desire will become a part of your life will call into action a universal law that will assist you in your ideal manifesting. Doubt and fear prevent human man from achieving success both materially and spiritually. Doubt and fear. Hmm. Many people are like the lady of tradition who after an earnest and impassioned prayer to our creator for rain he immediately nullified all vibrations she had set into motion by her fatal remark. But I don't believe it will happen. As a doubt, when you 
think or say, I don't believe it will happen. Many think in this way, feeling themselves about to be blessed and then stopping short of receiving the fulfillment of their desire. Even when such negativity does not give birth to a, <clears throat> to a barrier of success, doubt and fear cause a serious draining on energies, often preventing its expression in the accomplishments of a worthy, positive, or noble purpose. Hmm, doubt and fear. So if you put it out there in the universe and then you take it back that doubt and that fear that nullifies everything that you desire so there you are in that same rut of wanting and desiring you, you never get to the next level you just run up, make a root in the same same little circle, the same thing. You're still with the same broke friends. You're still with the same cheating ass man. Because you can't get out of that rut. And you know, a lot of times getting out of that rut means letting go. You have to let go of some friends. You may have to go let go of relationships with your your husband, your children, father, you to elevate, uh, to fly. You have to you gotta cut some chains. Doubt and fear. I can't. Lack of preparation can invalidate efforts made. Even preparation. Wow. <laughs> I remember one time I said, I'm leaving this man, I'm leaving this man, and I made preparation. And when I made preparations, I cut the cards and left. But I didn't cut them all the way because I ended up coming back. You had to cut them and leave real good and, and say bye. And don't go back. Don't go home that way. Go home another way. <laughs> with concentration, your focus. No, I'm saying with concentration, you focus your attention upon your ideals, thus preparing yourself to receive what you desire. To receive what you desire. Mm. In lesson one, you were given instructions on how to prepare a piece of paper that would be unfolded in two creases and read twice a day. I don't think we did that, but the basis, you were just writing down what you wanted, like a vision board, but it was written on paper. And I did that, and... My everything I wrote on that paper, I crossed it off, and I actually got what I wanted. And I guess now, at my age, I still can um, write what I want because I still have desires, and you just gotta figure out what it is that I want. Hmm, I don't want for too much. I guess I could want the same thing. I, I think I'm gonna. Manifest me another brand new car. How about that? That I ain't going to pay for. Somebody else going to get me this car. Just like it happened the first time. So I'm going to manifest me another brand new car. I know, let's manifest another house too. Somebody asked me if I wanted to marry. And then I don't want no. I don't want to marry nobody. I'm happy just like I am. Me and my dear friend. So... He's a keeper, and we don't we don't we don't need to put no chains on nobody to keep them, cause you just give them enough uh, rope, and cause I don't want to be kept either like that. Not not in marriage and chains. <laughs> okay, what's well, coming up on nine ten minutes almost. But anyway, that's going to end our lessons on the conscious mind. 
And we'll start talking about going back to meditation and hypnosis. Basically, going back to our lesson on self-hypnosis. Because when you think about it, to make the conscious mind obey commands from the subconscious mind, it, it is getting into hypnosis. You have to train your mind to obey. And the way to start doing that is to train your mind to be still. And the, the, the mind has to train the conscious mind to be still. And even to meditate, you have got to learn how to sit still. It's not so much as about not thinking, but to start is not to move, to be still, physically be still. And then you'll learn how to still the mind once you still the body. But we'll get back into that uh, next Friday. And... I want to talk a little bit about this book uh, by Deepak Chopra. It's a pretty old book, but this is the name of it. Can you see it? I'm acting like y'all can answer me. <laughs> anyway, Unconditional Life, Mastering the Forces that Shape Personal Reality. And personal reality, everybody's reality is different. Everybody sees something different because we are all on different paths. I I had somebody tell me, I guess they were I didn't they didn't understand that I'm on a different path. And she she was saying that there's only one path, one way, the narrow way. She's using the Bible. Narrow is the way and and that leads to life and all that. But be it narrow or broad, everybody is on a different road. Because if, say, at the end game, everybody wants bliss, happiness, self-awareness, and truth, and all of this truth and bliss and awareness is in Chicago, everybody in the world is going to want to go to Chicago. And they're all on a different journey trying to get to Chicago. They're going to see different peaks and valleys and hills. And some people's uh, road may be easier than others. And everybody's going to meet somebody different on their path. So we all are on a journey. But we're going to see different things because we are on different paths. But in the end, we all get get to it and, and we can all see the same thing truth a lot of times i know i do i expect people to tell me the truth and i can't i i have to not do that quit doing that but i i just it it bothers me when people lie but you know i'm old enough to be over that by now because Liars have been around forever, so I'm over it. But when you lie on me, that's what that's what makes me just cuckoo. You can you can lie and, and tell all the lies, and you can say I did this and I got that. Go ahead and tell that lie, but don't lie on me. That's that's what I don't like. But a liar, a person who is a liar, you can't just ramble through them and expect them to give you the truth, Mary. Because the truth is not in them. So my expectations are from other people might have been too much. But like I said, if you got a liar in the bunch, they can't give you the truth. You can't give something you don't have. You can't teach what you don't know, and you can't lead where you haven't been. And that's a problem a lot of us have. We want to teach what we don't know because, you know, you got a bunch of sheeple, people who don't know and don't even know that you don't know. 
So a lot of people who are charlatans and frauds, they take advantage of these people who don't know any better. And they don't know that you don't know what you're talking about. And you just uh, giving them this false hope and just everything. But beware, beware of people. And this truth that we seek is going to come from within. And it's like a homing device within ourselves. Uh, what do they call these things? Uh, I, don't, I don't have one on my car. But anyway, when you're lost, GP, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about, that, that thing that keep you from being lost. But we have that on the inside of us. And it's no way we're going to be lost when we rely on it. We have it. It was here when we, we were born. So rely on that system because other people will tell you, no, you turn on such and such a street and make a left and you'll be there. I would have to go to the um, to the hospital, the big hospital, and, and to get some paperwork. And you know how the people, the volunteers sitting there and just help them. How you doing? Can I help you? And I asked her where I said, I'm going to go to medical records. This lady told me when you go down the hall and keep going straight and, and when you get in there, you'll see a, a, a curve and you make a U-turn there and you'll be right at medical records. And I'm starting to walk and I was hurting pretty bad that day, but I walked. And as I was listening, I say, make a U-turn? How are you going to make a U-turn and you're walking down the hall? And I'm just... I would say a U-turn. So if I make a U-turn, I'm picturing myself driving. I say, a U-turn and I'm walking. I said, well, hell, I'm going to be turning, going back the other way. That don't make no sense. So I, I found myself getting lost and confused. I'm good at that. I stopped and asked somebody else, where is medical records? And they said, well, you, you, you got to go back. You passed it and just turn right there. Make a left right there. And I said, well, why did this lady tell me to make a U-turn? And she fell out laughing. She said, a U-turn? I said, that's what she said, a U-turn. She said, no, you can't make a U-turn when you're walking down the hall. And she said exactly what I was thinking. You're going to be going, uh, turning around. So I said, I'll let to say you cannot go on other people's instructions. Don't even take my word. Because I, I am no teacher. I can only tell you the path that I'm on, what I've seen, what has happened, and how I feel. And you could believe it. I, I could be here jab, 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 and lying about everything. But your soul should be a witness to what is true and what's not. Because you're old enough to discern what's real and what's not. But young people, kids can't do that. I used to believe in Santa Claus, and I swear I saw Santa Claus. So young kids can't discern what's true because older people telling you things, so you believe them. I remember one time my grandfather had a sty on his eye. And here I'm, I'm not even three years old. Uh, Papa, how you get that bump on your eye? Papa, how you do this? And he finally got tired, and I could I remember how he took a deep breath. He said, "Gal, you asked too many questions." I fell in the toilet and got flushed down the toilet, but I was able to get back up. And going down the toilet made this bump on my eye. I was I believed that Papa got flushed down the toilet. And I told my sister, I said, when we go to the bathroom, we got to hold each other's hands so we don't get flushed down that toilet. Because Papa said that's what happened to him. Do you know my sister and I, we would hold each other's hand because, and I told her what Papa said, so she believed me because I believe Papa. But and we have to be careful that we give our children the truth and give young people the truth because 
they expect the truth from us. But you, you are young people, you have a, a, a device. We all have this device, and it will not let us be lost. Just, just trust me on that. You will not get lost on your journey. Anyway, I'm 20 minutes, but we'll come back next week on some, some, some things. I'm gonna do this, this quick uh, answers because I, I have a, a something I wanna, a question. Somebody asked me if I wanted to get married, and and I, I, I know in my heart, in my heart, that ain't what I wanna do. <laughs> so my question is, will I get married? I don't even have to waste my time on that because the answer is no. Should I get married? Let me put it like that. Should I get married? Hmm. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Related issues may surface. Related issues may surface. Yeah, the related issue that I already been married. Never want to do that again. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys uh, next Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye.